Jack gives it the bid for a four tire change. They'll also make a chassis adjustment on the right side car, just a little bit tight. Left side tires going on. Brand new sticker tires going on. One that's tight, he's down and away. A great pit stop for this Joe Gibbs racing crew. And when all these pit stops are through, Jeff Burton is going to be the leader of this race. Here's Jimmy Spencer and Ted Musgrave. The 75 car is the leader, but he has not made a pit stop. So when he does, as you indicated, Ned, it will be Jeff Burton at the front of the field with Dale Jarrett running in second position. We'll be right back. When we took the break, Ted Musgrave was the leader, but not anymore. He's made his pit stop, and that has put Jeff Burton in the lead. With Dale Jarrett running second, Jeremy Mayfield third, Jeff Gordon fourth, Tony Stewart in the fifth position. The Gotham Stakes, part of the National Rotor Car Racing to the Kentucky Derby, is over on ESPN2. It was supposed to be here on ESPN. However, because we had almost a three-hour rain delay, it has uh, forced us to put the Gotham Stakes over on the deuce. That's where you can see it right now. We'll continue to cover for you this Trans-South Financial 400, 123 laps completed. The halfway distance is 147, and there are some dark, ominous clouds on the horizon. Here's a battle for seventh position. Ward Burton in the 22 and Bobby Hamilton in number four. Bill Weber, what's the strategy at this point with the dark clouds around? Well, Bob, a different... It varies for a bunch of different teams, but Benny and Ned, what these guys are doing now is they're being told, don't worry about saving your tires. Right now, you have to run this like it's through lap 148. Go, go, go. It's no more race the track, no more save your tires. Right now, they are clearly racing the halfway. Interesting change here at Darlington. On board with Wally Dallenbach. He's running back in 29th position, a lap down. Ward Burton coming up to try to pass him. Ward running in seventh. And once again, the Bill Davis team with Ward Burton having a very, very good race. Ward started this race back in 28th position and was quickly in the top 10 and now finds himself in the seventh spot. He's about 12 and a half seconds behind his brother, Jeff Burton, who is leading this race. Ward is in the top 10 in points for only the first time since Sears Point in March, or rather May of 1997. There's brother Jeff, who's at the front of the field, now almost one and one tenth second ahead. And look at this traffic that he's coming up on. He got by a couple of them there pretty easy, but boy, was that heavy, Benny. I'm telling you. And you will see Benson right in front of him. There's Buckshot Jones, Jimmy Spencer, all these cars wanting to stay in the lead lap. Also right behind him, Kevin LePage, the Prime Star car, wanting to get a lap back. And here comes Dale Jarrett, so he can't take it easy. He has to run hard to stay in front of Jarrett. DJ has been picking up about a tenth of a second a lap on him since they came out of the pits. He got about two seconds behind, and now it's down to 85 hundredths of a second. Jared has won the last two Trans-South Financial 400s. Now Buckshot Jones is already two laps down. However, the car that's trying to stay on the lead lap is Johnny Benson there in the yellow Cheerios car. He started second, and is back in 21st, the last car on the lead lap. We understand that Buckshot Jones uh, came into this race also with the flu, as has been the case with Mark Martin. And he had uh, Todd Rodine standing by to possibly relieve drive, but uh, Buckshot staying in the car. And that's how close Benson is to going a lap down. And we're going to see these two cars in front of him. Jimmy Spencer and Johnny Benson run as hard as they can to stay in front. What happens if the caution flag should come out? The pace car goes out and gets in front of the 99 car. These two cars in front, the 23, 26, are able to go all the way around and make up a mile and three-eighths, and that's what they're trying to do. Check out an AutoZone on-track interval here. And we see the times were back, you know, those pressure tires were back to almost 30 seconds flat. But each lap, Jeff Burton has been much slower than Dale Jarrett, so it's obvious that he gained almost three-quarters of a second. 
And Jeremy Mayfield, he's in uh, third position. He's 3.79 seconds behind. Now, Jeff Gordon was over seven seconds behind. Right now, he's cut that down to 5.4, so Gordon is very, very fast. There goes Johnny Benson. He gets by Spencer and oh. almost loses it right in front of his teammate, Jeff Burton, but he gets it under control. Burton dives down to the inside. That's all it took for Benson to lose a lap. Just a little loose coming out of the corner, and boom, he's a lap down. Now, DJ right now has two Roush cars that are lapped down right between him and the leader. Ernie Irvin has had an impressive run, especially when you consider the fact that he is pitting on the backstretch. Ernie Irvin is in ninth position. And you see Chad Little going by. Also Ricky Rudd. There comes Ernie Irvin along Bill Elliott right behind him. Bill and Tesla. I'll tell you, the last three races, Ernie Irvin, the Indian star, has been very, very impressive. Did not qualify well, but is racing well, John Curtin. Ernie started 37, now moved up into the ninth position. The last pit stop right in that 17-second range of four tire change. They also made a chassis adjustment because the car was just a little bit tight. So they loosened it up a little bit. And Ryan Pemberton, his crew chief, said, now, Ernie, go for it. And he's already picked up three positions since the pit stop. So Ernie Irvin is on the move, running lap time nearly as fast as the leader. And there is Bill Elliott with 19 top five and 30 top ten finishes here in 40 two starts running right behind Ernie Irvin. Back up front meanwhile it is on the far left of your screen. Jeff Burton the leader of the race. Couple of lap cars between him and second place Dale Jarrett. Here's Jarrett moving to the inside of Benson. And with these drivers running into this lap traffic Jeff Gordon has cut his deficit down to less than four seconds. Of course he'll have to pass that same traffic. Look at that statistic has led 70% of 1998 Darlington laps, 468 of 660, but no wins. There's a 12 of Jeremy Mayfield. He's third. He is 2.72 seconds behind the leader. And then Jeff Gordon, as you saw, was pretty close to him, 3.55 seconds. Gordon, who is running in fourth position, about three and a half seconds back. Jerry? Some of the weather people in the area that uh, basically work for different teams have come in and told uh, some of the folks here in the Hendrick 24 pit that the weather, the rain, is about 11 miles out. Rick Hendrick just told me they have basically now told Jeff Gordon the tire conservation theory is over. Go for it. First one to 147 will win. And we're going to make it to halfway. <laughs> in the next three or four minutes. So these guys do need to have to run as hard as they possibly can because it doesn't appear as though this race is going to run 400 miles. Dale Jarrett just lost about a second to Jeff Gordon. I mean to Jeff Burton as he's trying to get by Jimmy Spencer and slip coming off a of turn two and got way behind. On board with the fifth place car of Tony Stewart. He started 10th and has gained half the positions he needs. Right now, Tony is 8.72 seconds behind the leader. There's Mark Martin running the Xerox colors this weekend for only this one race. He is in sixth position. He's 10.2 seconds behind. Next car back is the, you ever see the four car, Bobby Hamilton, Kodak Film for Chevrolet. He's 12.2 seconds behind. There's Elliot Sutter watches him go by. Ever see Ward Burton, the Caterpillar car, back in eighth spot. He's 15 and a quarter seconds behind the leader, Jeff Burton. That's not quite a half a lap. Mike Skinner goes by. Mike Skinner's 30th spot, one lap back for the leader of the 1999 Wichita Cup points. Team. Tony, 37th. Good run, Ernie. And the 28 car has just moved up into the top 10. A few laps ago, Bill Elliott was running in 10 spot, but since that time...